Hey everyone, it's Michael here with another episode of First Play, the series where we take a look at games for the first time and discuss design. Uh, we've got a special preview edition of Shadow Crypt here this week. Shadow Crypt is an action platformer game with, made with Game Maker and should be released in the near future. It was also just greenlit on Steam. I've been eyeing this one for uh, about a month and seeing it uh, gain some hype and so excited to uh, check it out. Got my gamepad connected here again this week, um, and uh, notice there's no options to adjust the sound uh, in the game, so I'm hopefully lowered it a bit, and that won't be a problem for the recording. We will soon see. So I'll get started here, um, noticing that I can't hit the A button, so I'll try. Uh, looks like X will do it instead. And long ago in another world and time, a necromancer has taken over an ancient catacomb. Using powerful sorcery, he summoned and commanded legions of undead warriors and has been spreading fear and chaos ever since. One day, a wandering stranger has come to challenge this rising evil. The dark presence within the catacomb has drawn him to this place. It is said that he is the last living member of an order that has fought corrupted sorcerers for many centuries. With his sword drawn and shield raised, the stranger walks through the entrance gate and vanishes into the shadows. So, a few grammatical things there. I'll send out, uh, I'm going to send some feedback to uh, the developer, so can edit that a bit, hopefully, before release. Um, so the analog stick isn't really doing anything here, uh, again, just like it did on the menu, so it looks like I have to use the D-pad, which is probably for the best for this type of game anyway. It uh, looks like movement is a little slow. I wonder if I get boots or something that speeds me up, but we'll see how that, if, you know, this is the size of the room, it's probably not a big deal. Uh, looks like I've got three lives down in the lower left. Got some boxes up in the top right, which aren't doing anything right now, and I've got sword, so X. So the buttons in the game are mapping to what they said on the instruction sheet I picked to Actually, okay, so Y is going to be my shield bash. Pretty cool. I've got some different attacks. See if I can combo or do anything with those later. Press up to get in the door. Uh, oh, door is automatically opening for me. And there's a skeleton here. Oh, he had quite a lot of health, but picked up some health anyway, I don't think I got damaged, so 3 to 7, just keep going in here. Now, I think, oh wow, these guys are stronger. Um, yeah, sure, that seems better. So I had to hit a button to pick up the different sword there. Oh wow, this one's even better. I wonder if these are randomly generated. This is pretty cool. Um, because uh, I think there's supposed to be a linear progression in the game. Um, Okay, good. Enemies don't respawn. I just have to remember which doors I come in and out of. We'll see if there's multiple paths or something. Um, oh. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. So, I saw there was a sign. I had to press up. Um, I don't know if it'll be obvious for everyone that there's a sign there that, you know, you can do something with it. Having a hint or it glow when you go over it, you know, outline might be helpful. Oh, I can ledge jump. There's another good uh, case here where you force the user to have to, you know, I can't jump up here normally, so it forces me to learn that I can do the wall jump, so good design choice there. Ah, the, um, the uh, chest automatically opened here and I got something, though I'm not sure what I picked up. It looked like it just instantly went in my inventory. Um, oh, okay, so I think I had seen that in the instructions. I can use the bumpers on my gamepad to um, change my secondary weapon. So now I have a long distance spear. Interesting. Okay, Let's see if that comes in handy or not. Let's see. Uh, looks just about as good as my sword, I guess. Oh, defender shield. Um, picked up more of those. Oh, uh, yes, I'll pick it up. Oh, so it automatically just adds or replaces my shield. That's good. Uh, so I came through the middle. I'm guessing that's what the little triangle above the door means. That would be kind of nice. 
Um, and then I guess I just have a choice of which way to go. So let's go to the right. And, oh, this guy's got a shield. Oh, yeah, this is gonna get hard to, uh, I'm, this is not the right strategy, apparently. <laughs> uh, let's... Oh, uh, this is, I'm gonna die. It's not gonna be good. Man. Oh, man, it's really hard to, uh, sneak up on them because it looks like they go the same speed as you. So it's really about a timing thing. All right, yes, I died. Um, oh, cool. So I start back here, but I've effectively lost all my equipment. So dying later on is probably going to suck pretty hard because I won't have anything. So now I have weaker weapons to fight this strong guy again. Uh. Oh, and he turns around right away. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It looks like I have to be stealthy here. Oh. Yeah. At least he's not sm that smart to just, like, continue to face me. How many hit points does he have? Oh. Okay. Come on. Oh, his eyes glow. That was a little scary. It's like big special attack or something. I'm still taking way too much damage, which is a good guy. Wow, the difficulty is uh, ramping up quick. Oh. We'll see what the next guy is. Wow, I didn't... Oh. Okay. Oh. So it'd be kind of nice to know how many hit points he has. Like, can I... Should I just... Oh, he's running away. It'd be nice if I could move a little bit faster than them. Or, you know, unless that's an item I have to pick up, hopefully in the near future. Because if I time it wrong, then I'm just... I can't catch up to him to backstab him. But it would be nice to know how many hit points he has so I could, like, if he's just got a few left, I could just make a rush attack, maybe hit in a little bit. You know, I guess I should actually be using my shield a bit more, too. That's, yeah, this is, oh, oh I died again. Crap. Uh, hmm. So I guess the challenge is to have enough lives in order to uh, make it to the end. But I guess the the main thing I have to be learning here is how to use my shield. This seems to be the... Uh, this is not working well. well. I mean, in terms of my strategy, I just have to only figure out how to play the game. This is pretty advanced combat mechanics now, which is which is cool for this type of game, to have this kind of dodge and defense battle. This guy just has a lot of hit points. And since I lost my equipment, you know, uh, oh, I should have gone to the left and see if it was an easier path. Um, but I just have to learn how to... Uh, get away! Ugh. Okay. So, I'm not very good at this game. Let's try again. Uh, yeah, so X to start, and so this will help us see the uh, progression here. So I think basically the rooms are the same. I don't know if the enemies change or... Oh, he didn't drop anything this time. Yeah, so I think definitely using my shield to bash them back is important. Uh, ooh, Master Sword early to beginning that. Long sword, 7 to 8. No, I don't like that. This is better. It's pretty cool how the different weapons have slightly different minimum and maximum damage. And an all open you under here. Yeah. Learn about the wall jump. And this gives me the spears, so now I can switch to those again. Alright. Um, uh, Master Sword is the same as I have. I wonder if the text glows differently based on the uh, different... Uh, oops, I didn't want to throw that. The different... Um, if it's better than what I have or not. Like, is it green if it's better than what I have? 
Is it red if it's worse? I mean, gray might be the same. Okay, I'm gonna go to the left this time. Oh, okay, this is definitely the easier path. Oops. Yeah. I wonder if I... Can I move faster if I'm jumping? Maybe a little bit. I'll have to... Oh. I guess timing is gonna be important for those, uh... Oh, Avenger shield. Um, sure? I don't know what the difference with the shields are. But it's a different color. <laughs> Is it go green, blue, red? I'm not sure. I guess the... Doesn't seem to do any damage when it hits. That would have been a cool shield. This is not working. Oh crap. And now I've lost all my stuff, of course. Oh, it'd be nice if it switched to the shield when I was out of ammo. Oh, extra hearts. Get away. Oh, I'm stuck in the corner. Okay, def jumping definitely seems to be the quicker. Can I jump backwards? I can. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm very bad at this game, apparently. Whew! Alright. I think learning how to effectively use this combat system is going to be the key here. Oh. oh, I was facing the wrong way. Ah. Oh. Ooh, okay. This is a pretty quick ramp up of difficulty to fight this guy. Okay. My shield doesn't... Oh, okay, so... My crappier... That's part of the problem, is my crappier shield doesn't actually knock him back, I think. Okay, I'm glad that I can... I learned that jumping is faster. Um... Oh, and of course I had no health again. Oh, and I'm back at the beginning. Alright, let's try again. <laughs> oh, this is tough. This is one of the toughest games I've played in a little while. But it's fun. It's pretty cool. Um, it's it's a really... Like, the whole mood and environment is really nice. Not something I've seen like this in a while. Um, just the whole feel of it's really nice. Um, it's just really kind of... Silver Blade, yeah. Better. Um, it's just fun to be like in this really moody dungeon and beating up on these guys. Um, it's just very difficult. Um, as you've seen, I've been getting pretty pretty stuck. Broadsword five to seven. So that's red. I'm gonna just try and look this time. So it's red. So hopefully that means it's worse. And then these guys. Which is annoying because I didn't. Uh, last time I picked up the spears. Oh, I've got three spears on me. Uh, Alright, so I want to go to the left, I guess. First. Oh, yeah, I should check this shield. Oh, it does knock him back. Maybe it just wasn't knocking the other guy back? Can you only knock back the same type of people as the shields that you pick up? I'm not sure. I wish I knew a little bit more about the shields, and there was a manual uh, included. I don't know if it mentions some of those things in there, but uh, I don't think many people read manuals again these days, unless they get really stuck. Uh, broadsword, so that's about the same. More minimum damage, less maximum damage. That's, that was gray. And now I've got the big beefy skeleton. Let's see what's in there. It's War Sword. That looks better, but it wasn't green. Okay. I wish the shield would at least do like one damage when I knock it back, because it would help end the battle a little bit quicker. Ugh. This. Oh, crap. Okay, yeah. Getting stuck in the corner is really bad. 
This uh, sword will hopefully help. And oh my gosh, how many hit points does he have? Oh gosh, hammer shield. That sounds good. Except I have no health now. Um, yeah, it's really brutal to lose all your equipment when you die. Dying is just bad in this game. Oh, and there's an archer. Uh, okay, I'm hoping my. Uh, um, hmm. Well, he fires really quick. Um, oh, I'm glad I. I don't think I got damaged there. Oh. I hope that three of these can take him out. No. Okay. Of course not. Um, I'm very tempted to try using my shield to like try and knock the arrow back. I don't know if that'll work. We'll see. No. Okay. That does not work. And now I have one health. The oh, that's a tough jump. Is that really that... Uh, Alright, and I lost all my good equipment. Okay, I just... I was just jumped way too early. I hope this guy is pretty easy to kill. Or what is he going to do when I get close to him? He's just going to keep firing arrows. Great. Okay, I'm glad he didn't have as many hit points as the other skeleton. But, oh my gosh. Another one of these guys. Yeah, I think death enough is a penalty in this game. Like, losing all your equipment at the same time... It is just brutal, because now my my sword is doing, like, half as much damage. And so it's going to take me twice as long to kill this guy. And I'm not good enough at blocking to, uh, to defend myself for a long period of time. I wonder if I would do better with a keyboard. Ugh. Um, I suppose I could go back the other... No, there's a red skeleton that way, too, so I think I'm... I'm boned either way. Okay, you stay away. I think the problem too is he keeps advancing even when I hit him, and so eventually I have to jump over him or keep knocking him back. Because uh, I just get I just get stuck um, in the corner, and then once I'm in the corner, like I can't knock him back, and does he, he actually like well. He walks over me. He doesn't stop because he's next to me. Um, like I, it's like I have no. My body has no presence. Oh man, this is tough. Oh. Oh boy. I died again. Um, great! <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. I am. I'm. I'm really enjoying this game. It's. It's super cool. Um, but man, this is a very, very tough game. So uh, I think I'm gonna leave it here, rather than jump in again. But I will be trying to improve my skills a bit. See if I can figure out uh, a little bit more how to play. I don't think I'm missing any of the buttons here. Uh, weapon switch. Shield, spear, axe, item. Yeah, so that's that's it. Crouch, enter door, read. Um, oh, I didn't... So... Ah, A gets me back. I, I missed hitting that button. But, um, but yeah, I would expect A to let me to go in the instructions, and then B to get out of the instructions. Kind of the more standard um, button selections. Um, but anyway... Um, be sure to be on the lookout for Shadow Crypt. It should be released soon. I've put links to the website and the green light page um, below. Um, and thanks for watching First Play. Uh, be sure to check out my Patreon page if you like this series and want to see more. And I will see you next time.